some stuff to do. We're gonna go feed the farm here in just a second, but remember, we're also giving away this GoPro Hero 8 Black Edition. All you gotta do is smash the like button, subscribe to this channel, and comment why you want it. There is over 5,000 entries on the last post and a lot of Instagram DMs. I wish I had a 1,000 of these things to give away, but unfortunately, it's only one. I love doing these, giving back to you, Gaferos. But later on in the video, we're gonna be casting live bait to then bring back to the fish room, feed these snapping turtles that are, oh, hungry and ready to munch. We also get new fish for the backyard pond. When do we ever have a lame day here? So stick along, stay tuned. First things first, let's head over to the farm. And here we go, hogs. Ready, you guys? I think we get more food. It's nice and dry in here now though, that's that's an upside. Hey dad, that's the dad of all the baby pigs, which we are gonna be seeing the baby pigs in just a second once we head back to the other house. Nice scoop of food. There you go, my children. Eat up, you little crazy things. Duke, you're literally bigger than any pig. Yeah, I remember when you were the same size as your dad over here, Bubba, and now look at you. Massive now, oh, oh God, I'm tripping over ducks and stuff. Hey bud, sorry. You want some food or something? There you go, take it, yep, take it. Suzanne, we all know. You want to throw your face into the scooper. There you go. Come on. Everyone got a fresh cut grass. Closure looks good. Oops, what are you, crazy? Here. Everyone's fighting over it. All right, move here. There you go. Little baby, what's going on? We got Oscar. Hey, Boots, King, Emmy, and Mama Goat is over there. I don't know what she's doing, but she's just chilling. I got hay for you. Woo! You think they like hay or what? Every single one of them ditched the grain to eat the hay. And you got Oscar on top of it, like king of the hay or something. What's going on, Oscar? Nice little bit of TNA there for you. Drag it on over here. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Oh! And every time you get the grass cut, you gotta do all the waters. Oh, wow. Well, I guess my landscapers, uh, I guess they took out the hose with the grass. It's all good. These pigs love to get sprayed down. It's hot, and the big old pigs love it. New water's filling up, mud pit's full. Eat up, guys, enjoy your food. Bubba, your dirty nose is gonna get all over my lens. What are you doing, Bubba? Huh? I know, I gotta feed you guys a little bit more. Golly, you got so big. So let me catch you up. About a week and a half ago, my boy Luke, a friend of mine, he's been around since day one on the YouTube channel, the OG days, Luke had a bunch of big Paku that outgrew his pond. And I wish we got more footage of it. I wasn't even with him when he dropped them off at the house. These massive Paku were chewing holes in his liner. Holes in it and making his pond leak. So he was like, Paul, you want them? I said, sure. I already had seven Paku about, you know, six, eight inches in the backyard pond. So I told him, throw them in there. They'll grow with my others and it'll be awesome. And I have yet to film them. So yeah, we got new fish. And one of the fish are actually albino. You'll see that in the video. Massive albino paku, like 25 pounds. And I'm not gonna like cut it up a bunch. I'm literally just gonna like let the footage roll. So enjoy this amazing feeding. All the way out there, the arowana is right there. Wait till you see these fish. This is my favorite part of coming to the farm now, other than the pigs, of course, but here's the tilapia. And then they'll fire up the paku. There it is. Look at that fish. Albino paku. There's a big one. Dude, it's so cool to watch. Look at the size of some of these things. Sheesh! That albino one stands out so much, but it's like a bunch of just missiles. Just There's a big brown one right there. Holy moly. Look at the size of that thing. That is so dope. Oh, that was a double blow up. It is very, very deep, very, very deep right here. So all these Paku are kind of chilling in the deeper water. Look at the size of that thing. I want to see one come up right in this camera spot right here. That was awesome. The turtle pond is looking amazing and they're actually eating right now. We caught them at just the right time. I walked out here and there's actually a yellow belly up on top of our waterfall. Now we put this tub here under our overhang that we built a couple of videos ago and it's doing amazing again. As you can see, the plants look good. If you didn't watch this video, you definitely missed out on a banger. I wanna get a bigger pump though so that will like pump more. This is like a really small pump. But for now, it, it works. Oh, I got a new AC unit for the house too. I moved it from over there to over here. Not that an AC unit has anything to do with today.
today's video whatsoever, but I thought I'd just, yeah, we walked by it and you're probably gonna see it a lot and be like, what the heck is that dinosaur? Yay! Oh, look at the soft shell and the Indian spotted. When I first walk in here every morning, that thing is just stacked with turtles on top of each other. All of our beautiful, beautiful fish from around down there. Hey, Tiny, how you doing, buddy? You wanna bite my finger? Gotta turn the lights on, lights on. Now in the 1,000 gallon, the snapping turtles are still in here. This is, look at them, look at them come up. Ooh. That thing does not mess around. This would be cool to have the snapping turtles in, but obviously I do not want to dedicate this pond to the snapping turtles. I think we could build them their own something outside. And I didn't put them with the other turtles because they would have ended up attacking the yellow bellies and stuff like that. So these guys are going to get their own custom made. Oh, Just like this over here. I mean, something like this, but like 10 times the size, more like the size out there, maybe even bigger because those snapping turtles are going to grow. They're literally just still babies. They're Oh, they're still babies. They're gonna grow a lot. So be looking forward to a really cool project here coming up on the channel. I have so much going on right now. Like when I mean so much, I mean so much. And just little by little, I can release it to you guys on the channel. And now you know what we gotta check on. We gotta check on, we gotta check on our baby piggies over here. Hey mama, what's going on? How big the babies are. When you see these babies, you're gonna be shook. This is our little pooping corner. Look at you guys, you little munchkins, and there's another one over there. Look at you. We've named a couple of them here. I know for sure three of their names. We just don't have names for two of them. Or actually, for these two right here. That is Chunky Monkey because I've never seen a more chunky pig in my entire life. And then this is, of course, how do you not name that Bambi? And my mom actually named that one, and we all agreed upon that. Look at how cute you are. I mean, does it get any cuter than that? Come on. What are you sniffing for? And this is Chunky Monkey. So Chunky Monkey, Bambi. And then I believe it's the one with the white head right here, the female, so all three females are named, and that's Twisty. And that's because when she drinks milk from mom, she just like goes crazy. So that male right there, and this male right here, do not have names. So if you guys wanna comment some piggy names, go comment. Mama is doing fantastic though. She's a good girl, right mama? Let me get you some breakfast. I got some corn mixed in here for her. Oh. <laughs> Gotta love a nice golf cart ride down to the canal, baby. Oh, yeah. Going to get bait. Cast that right there. Here we go. Look at all that bait. All that oh. movement. Dude, it's literally all mullet. So right here is just a little runoff canal. It comes out from the main river and it just cuts into this little tiny creek. And you'd actually be surprised how cool this is. Look at all those fish. Just piled up over there. What the heck? There's so many the whole way down. <laughs> so this is fresh water and it drops into salt water right here. So technically this is like brackish. You can see mullet over here too. So at high tide they actually get over that wall right there and they just end up in the brackish side. In today's video, we're gonna cast net and then bring these suckers back to the house. Now we only need uh, like like four baits. We, we're gonna cast on a lot more than four, but we're only gonna keep four of the smaller ones. Let's get the net. Look at all those ripples. See all that little action on the surface? That's all pods. And what I mean by pod is a school, so a bunch. Let's get our net. Now for those of you who don't know how to throw a cast in, I'm gonna teach you in the fastest and most simple way possible. Get the loop around your wrist, take a bunch of little loops like this, grab the horn of the net, which is this little red thing right here, stretch it out, bring your right hand around, grab the middle of the net, shake it out to make sure there's no tangles, and uh, yeah, we're about to cast net like 50 baits. Look at them all over there. See them all? Yep. Oh my gosh, dude. Completely wrecked them. <laughs> Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> Look at all those fish. That is all finger mullet. That one got bit or that something. One bit. Look at that. It's got a nice chunk out of them right there. So a fish must have got to that. Now I'm going to release a lot of these because you don't need all that. And just shake a little bit of them over the net. How many is that, four? Oh, look at that. Oh look, we got a sand perch. So these smaller fish will actually get stuck in the net. You just gotta shake them out like that. That is a sand perch right there. 
super good snook bait when they get a little bit bigger. And that's that, fellas. I mean, it was easy as that to cast net bait. We do this to feed my snapping turtles. Right now, they're all fired up. We do this pretty frequently, and it's an easy way to feed your fish without spending any money. Let's not get stickers in my feet. Ooh, perfect size, too. Little finger mullet right there. Perfect little bait. There is millions and millions of these fish this time of year, more towards winter time, that are migrating from up north Florida all the way down to South Florida. And I live in South Florida, so all these baits are coming through and the fish are going crazy on them at night. It's a show if you just stand at any bridge around here right now. These guys are getting blown out of the water by big old fish. And when I mean millions of mullet, there's millions of those fish in our waters right now. It's crazy. But I tell you what, we got our baits. We're going home. Hey, buddies. Oh, yeah. Hey, live feeding right here. Watch him chase it. Oh, oh my gosh, dude. Oh. That is an absolute goner. And just wait till he just chows that down. Oh, oh, hello. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Feisty. Ah! He got away. Go get him. Go get him. Oh, he sees him. He's coming. He's going. There he goes. Oh, oh he missed. He missed him. He missed. Oh, oh, did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? Oh. <laughs> there he goes. Come on. Go get him. Go get him. Oh. <laughs> Come look at them walking. Look at him. Dude. That is crazy. Look how bad oh. they want it. Look. Oh, there he goes. They're going to get him. They're going to get him. Ooh, no, too quick. These mullet were just too quick for the snapping turtle. So what I had to do was this. I got my bigger net out. I got to catch one of these mullet. They're too fast when they're fully alive. So we need to like stun them. Oh, oh. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Come on. Ready? Ooh, golly. Ooh, golly. He's literally ripping at him. Look at that. Ooh. Oh, here he comes for another bite. To the head, watch, he goes straight head first. Bam! Yep. Yeah, I think he wants to swallow him whole. Look yeah. at that, he knows Ooh. to go head first. Oh, he ripped his head off. Oh. Well, we could put that on YouTube. There he goes, he's gonna finish it off right now. It's actually crazy how fast they react, and I want to do more feedings on these snapping turtles in the future. But for today, that is all I got for you. It definitely was more of a vlog day, and you guys know I love making vlogs where I'm not really dedicating the video to a title or a thumbnail. We just do a bunch of stuff, and you spend the day here with me. Again, if you want to win this GoPro, right here, hit the like button, subscribe. That'll be sitting right there until about the end of the week when we make a final decision on who is the winner. I love each and every one of you so much. Check out the PC merch right here. This is the fishing long sleeve SPF. You can check that out, paulkfellbrand.com. Look at him creep up on it. Yeah. I think because he thinks it's alive. He literally goes, that ain't live. Oh, oh, oh. The little yellow belly's got this the mullet. Is mine. Look at that. He <laughs> said this is my fish, I want the whole thing. I threw the mullet in here and, and they ate it too. So I guess not only snapping turtles like mullet. See ya right here in the next one. My phone was not recording, dude. I clicked record and it never recorded. There was a snake under the dock. That was a water snake. That was a legit snake.